Peace and love. Sending you all positive energy, high vibe, success on your entrepreneurship, all love, all positivity. Make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel. You hit the like button and you leave me any comments, any questions, and also any requests in my description below. Today, I'm going to be speaking about the energy of the stallion in astrology one of the major aspects that's used and it indicates the energy of the planets and also the sun and the moon and it's basically a shape like a diamond shape that's found in our birth chart that describes the energy of three to four planets connected with the sun and the moon they're going to be on the opposite side that creates power and the most effective energy will be the sun and the moon and they're going to be on the opposite 180 degrees now as we have the understanding of the astronomical science and astrology we then have the understanding of our personal characteristics and also the energy. Hold on. 131 on the clock. Also the energy of the collective consciousness as a whole. Every last divine being on this planet has a zodiac sign that resonates with them. Okay. They also have the characteristics that resonates with them. Okay. So once we tune into the energy of astrology we have the overstanding of the true essence of the soul and we're able to persevere through our journey with happiness blissfulness and knowledge and understanding okay so i'm going to let you know the energy you hold from one through twelve in the zodiac signs 222 on the clock <laughs> if you have a stallion in your house okay now all it do if you don't have any that's fine if you do it's just going to break down your characteristics it's going to tell you your personality okay and if you don't know how to find it you can actually go on astro seek or astro um dynast will be able to tell you and that's all you have to do is research finding out do i have a stallion in my chart okay i always be familiar with that and also if you need any assistance let me know i'll be glad to assist you and be able to let you know the energy that you hold from your birth chart or even a full interpretation sheet because i do that i love astrology because it is governed by the divine body and it lets us know our ultimate powers 333 on the clock so if you have a stallion in aries you're going to have a lot of electric magnetic energy you're going to have the energy of mars which is fiery okay you can't help it to have that electrical energy you are playful you are optimistic you love competition and competing okay you love challenges you know and you could just get caught and competing all the time because you like a challenge you like to have fun you like to ride on roller coaster rides and feel the thrill in a high vibrating rush of the energy of being on a roller coaster ride okay and that's the type of energy you're going to hold if you have that stallion in Aries now if you have your stallion in actually Taurus you're going to hold the energy to be super romantic with your partners okay you like to see the most elegance in the beauty and material possessions also you're going to have a really nice comfy house that is really stylish just like your clothing 
okay you're going to have the three three or four material possessions because that's the energy that you're up under with Taurus we think about partnerships value earthly material possessions also partnerships Venus love and beauty so you're going to be into the physical appearance you're going to be eye appealing you're going to like materialistic things okay you're also going to have the urge to save money for investments you're going to encourage your friends to be powerful and to never settle for either work or either a love relationship because something will come around the corner and it's going to be more suitable for them so you're going to be that encourage encouraging friend that helps your friendships to be of balance and have that great intimacy physically spiritually mentally and emotionally five by five, five was just on a clock okay now if you have the stallium and gemini energy you are known to be a fast talker you are a quick thinker you like to take knowledge brainstorm the knowledge express it externally to humanity because you're all about communication okay so one seem to get drawn into love and great companionship once they hear your great intellect and you love to network you like being a mediator of groups and you like to create relationships across the social environment you know you like to bring balance and understanding to humanity from your intellect okay that's what energy you're going to hold for gemini how you doing um cancer energy you hold the energy of being a emotional creature um having awareness of empathy okay and you're going to have to tap into the energy of finding your comfort zone and finding your way home okay you connect it with the private life and it's going to be a little transformational with you balancing your emotions and being able to be expressive with your emotions because you have that deep empathy of sensitive energy emotional energy and intuitive energy but your comfort zone is going to be you taking that sensitivity that emotional energy and express it externally and move the shyness in the private energy i always speak about the energy of cancer and i'm always saying they about home a black beautiful butterfly is going past as I'm speaking at 222 two, two on the clock. I always say, you know, they security is feeling at home spiritually, emotionally, because that's how they express themselves. But they're also going to be great with communicating and bringing harmony amongst relationships. Hi, sweetie. I love you. I love you, collective. So, um, just know that they're going to be in to family and home life with cancer but it's also connected with unifying great friendships companionships co-workers just to have that nourishing and healing energy being able to express it externally and create harmonizing relationships amongst your family in intense relationships and also social relationships as well cancer the nourishing and the loving and the sensitivity is going to be the energy that you operate out of to express yourself emotionally because you are an emotional creature your beautiful being okay so we have the energy of leo okay you're going to have a hard empathy of communication and sociability skills okay 
others is going to like your styles from your communication skills all for also for your great leadership skills you're also going to be a great advisor and you're going to have that electric magnetic energy lit you're going to be the life of the party you're also going to attract people they're going to be naturally drawn to you because of the mentality that you have of love wild childhood imagination life of the party great advisor great leader okay and you're just going to be a popular individual once you are operating out of that light that you have we all have a light we all divine we all have the power and it's just like certain characteristics of the zodiac signs they tend to have us to have that energy more than someone else and that's fine it's just like for Taurus Taurus is going to have a Taurus heavy energy of being grounded practical fixed and sticking to the principles okay you're going to have Sagittarius that's going to have the energy to be open being more adaptive to change being more expansion because they embody that energy and express it outwards. So we just have the different characteristics that we have to have the understanding of in astrology. Every aspect in astrology is important. And as we view the birth charts, every time we learn about an aspect, we are having the understanding of ourselves. We are having the understanding of divine collective consciousness. We're having the understanding of universal knowledge. And then we expand, our brain expand, and we know who we are. We have that self-awareness, it's powerful. Two, two, two on the clock, that's why I love astrology. So, if you have your stallion in Virgo, okay? You have the motivation energy and the drive to create a solid empower. Okay, you want to make sure that everything is up grounded and is balanced in your life with your aspirations. Okay, um, you can be a little bit too much hard on yourself, you can be a little hard on yourself. You're very analytical, you very particular, and you like to calculate down things, excuse me, you like to calculate things down to the T. So sometimes 1313, 13, you can be a little bit overwhelmed by overdoing it. And you want to be able to tap into the energy to be calm and just know that it's going to work out for your highest good. Okay? It's going to be abundant for you, but you have that energy that deals with the intellect and the thinking. And once that energy of Mercury is conjunct, you're going to always be using that mind, which is the master mind, the master plan. But you had to be able to have a balance and not overdo it and know that your aspirations is going to come into fruition, you know, and know that no need to worry, no need to fear, but be in a state of relaxing, not overthinking, in a state of calmness and knowing it's going to work for you, okay? If you have the stallion in Libra, okay, you're going to have the urge to build a strong foundation of home, okay? And you're all about the balance, morality, justice, peace, and harmony amongst your everyday living is going to be based upon being balanced. You're going to embody that energy okay and you're going to want to 
create a strong foundation and have that structure in your home life just as well as externally okay being the mediators of group taking the air energy that you have and creating harmony amongst humanity okay so you're going to be all about that energy of having solid foundation okay externally and internally okay so if you have your stallion and Scorpio energy you love to be social once you come out of your shell you are a deep intuitive creature emotional sensitive empathic five 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 on a clock you have your transformational experiences to help humanity raise the frequency on the planet you are connected with the darkness in the unseen you connected with the energy of Mars 1616 and Pluto Mars is that action that fire that dry okay it helps us to remove stagnant energy it's connected with war as well and once you mix the energy of Pluto Pluto is the farthest away from the Sun it's the darkness it shows us how to be able to assess that shadow work and that darkness that's dormant within us that energy that is in the core and bring it out okay be at one with it so you have the energy of being connected deeply with your emotions so you're going to hold on to emotional events and hold grudges sometimes because you like to hold on to things that's the type of energy that you have nothing wrong with that and even your close friends your close friends is going to say it was a long and a challenging time for you to open up and you hold that energy because you are viewing people with a bird's eye view and you see the darkness in individuals that they don't see in itself because you have that super empathic energy very powerful energy and that's the type of energy that you operate out of Scorpio so if you had a stallion it's going to remind you to be expressive okay and be able to tap into the emotional expressive now Scorpios are deep and intense creatures like I said and you're going to find peace and love and happiness and clarity once you open up and be expressive but you sense everything really good you sense people and know what they don't know about themselves and it's because you have that energy of empathic and also healer energy in the dark energy okay I always say you can look and see the intensity in the Scorpio's eyes of they transformational times and they beautiful creatures but you can see that they are strong they are powerful and they are empathic so they're going to have a career that is based on them being of service to others based on them being healers shaman light workers okay they also can be great tax preparers because they're in the energy of tax prepare or debts or bills or taxes 1919 and also our sexual energy our mystical and our powerful energy and also our transcendent energy so once we view the energy of Scorpios very intense very powerful very loving very sweet creatures to humanity I love them every Scorpio that I had an encounter with very empathic very intelligent beings okay they show us how to assess that darkness within us okay 
if you have the energy of Sagittarius, you're going to be passionate, confident, very happy, also funny, love to live beyond your boundaries, okay? You're going to have the energy of self-awareness. You're going to be busy seeking the next adventures, okay? Mastering the art and exploring the different aspects of the world and tap into the energy of expansion. That's how you love to express yourself externally is wow the childhood imagination adventures expanding out more 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 every time i talk about sag and jupiter it's like adding on more expansion because that's what you are connected with if you have your stallion in capricorn 11th house you're going to be a consistent hard wheel hard working loyal creature you like to keep things simple you like to operate out of the uh, simplicity okay and you want things to be stemmed and balanced in life that's all that you love to operate out of 21 21 it's making sure that you have that stability you are practical and you like to get the job done you have the mindset of being productive okay and making sure that your aspirations come into fruition okay with being able to tap into the energy of master builder energy and have success on all four angles like the four pillars of the earth in your life okay if you have the stallium and Aquarius energy, you crave social connections, okay? You going to be in an energy where you love to start your projects. You just have to be mindful to finish them. But you are the type of being, you're connected with Uranus. Uranus is different. She goes against the grain okay she's the only planet that sits to the side okay she's known to be rebellious because she do things her way okay and once you have that energy you are a being that no matter the pitfalls no matter of the transformational times you're going to make sure that you reach soul evolution on all your aspirations that you want to achieve you're going to make sure that they are achieved you're going to make sure that your goals are accomplished and you're not going to stop until you do okay always be familiar with that and you just love the energy of being who you are and not being afraid of different opinions but you love to express yourself externally you love to be of service to humanity and you love to live free your air sign so you don't like to be cluttered you don't like to be crowded all the time but you love to run free like the wind if you had the stallion in Aquarius that's the energy that you're going to hold okay now if you have your stallion in the energy of Pisces Pisces is all about the wildest imagination okay the imagination is one of the most precious things to you on your being you love to navigate through the underworld you love to express yourself okay and visualize things okay and you're going to tap into the energy you need to be comfortable and safe with being able to express your imagination external okay and 
when we're dealing with Pisces, I always say they have a hard time finding themselves because they're so much in the spiritual realm. They are so much taking knowledge, storing knowledge. They are wise elders and they expressing the knowledge externally to many. Okay, but if they are in the beginning, they're going to be hoarding the knowledge and they're going to be too much in the spirit realm so they had to be able to balance the physical and the spiritual out in order to bring their manifestations into fruition they're going to have a broad imagination a broad intellect but it has to be balanced okay the knowledge has to be expressed externally okay the visualization has to have the blueprint you have to have plan in order you have to be disciplined and you have to be able to balance the both aspects of physical and spiritual so you're going to hold the energy of feeling safe and feeling at home with your wildest childhood imaginations in the darkness of the underworld and just be a balance once you're dealing with that energy so that's all for the energy 1 to 12 on the stallions i will be back i'm sending you all positive energy high vibes and success on your entrepreneurship i love you all and i'll be back with more peace and love